Welcome back. The Vitality Running World Cup is a month-long global running tournament that gives anyone a chance to run for their country. Now, if you have an interest in running, every single Namibian has the opportunity now to be a part of this marathon. And joining us this morning with uh, all the information of the Vitality Running World Cup is captain for the Namibia team, that is Eric Salomon. Alongside him, we have uh, Gabriel Ikena, who is a team member. Good morning and welcome, gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you very much for having us. Thank you for being here. This sounds very interesting. Dishishi and I were talking about it at the beginning of the show. Uh, perhaps uh, tell us a bit more about this uh, tournament. Okay. So basically, as you said, it's a month-long running tournament. And uh, the special thing about it is that anyone can take part. Mm -hmm. So when it was founded, the founders had in mind that they... Um, not necessarily an issue, but most World Cup, Olympic-style competitions, um, availability is reserved for the very talented. Mm -hmm. Whereas now, they wanted to create a tournament to promote wellness and healthiness and for people to get up and move, but then also to compete for their country yeah. and give them a chance, you know, to get glory for their country. So this is an actual competition? It's an actual competition. And like I said, anyone can take part, but that doesn't mean that it's you know, just for the man on the street, like the captain of Jamaica, for example, is Usain Bolt. Yeah. So he's taking part. In Britain, it's Dame Jessica Ennis Hill. In South Africa, it's Wade van Niekerk. And then, you know, they're competing alongside the likes of us who are just normal guys. <laughs> we don't have a champion of that caliber, is that what you're saying? Well, we believe that we are <laughs> champions of that caliber. <laughs> Uh, Gabriel, perhaps you can tell us how many participants uh, take place in this competition. How many expecting roughly this year? So far, they're on like 300,000, but mm -hmm. they're expecting up to a million subscribers uh, over the world. Wow. Yeah. That's incredible. And how exactly does it work? Because it's a month-long marathon. So how, how do the logistics work for that? So it's split into different rounds. Mm -hmm. So currently, we're in the qualifying stage, which started last week, Thursday at 12 o'clock um, at night, and then it runs till this week, Wednesday, at 12 o'clock at night. So how it works in the qualifying round is that anyone who wants to participate, what you have to do is go to the website, runningworldcup.com, you have to register, and then you have to link your fitness profiles like Strava or Google Fit, or if you have a fitness tracker, you link them, and then the, to qualify, all you need to do is run three kilometers in under 30 minutes. And once you do that, you're on the board, and you're contributing to the Namibia, to Namibia's total. And how many participants are you looking to select at the end of uh, this this first stage? We're we're not sure. We're still uh, looking for the numbers. We were talking about it now. We, you know, um, we've reached out to a lot of um, the running communities and yeah. also the public, and um, we're hoping between 500 and 1,000 Namibians will take part. Gabriel, tell us a bit about the kilometers that will be covered uh, during this tournament. I, across the world, I'm sure it's, um, it's millions of kilometers, but um, per stage, uh, we're looking at an average of 50 kilometers per, uh, the average per person is usually like 50 kilometers, and then you multiply that by our total runners. So we're estimating our total runners uh, who have registered should be be, uh, be in between 500 and 1,000. Mm -hmm. So 500 times 50, that's per person. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Then you'll see how much uh, the total will be. But over the world, it's a million kilometers for a virtual run that yeah. will be done, yeah. Can, can runners choose how many kilometers they want to run for this marathon? Or is it set, you have to do like a 50 kilometers? Can you do like a one kilometer if you're not that fit? So you <laughs> just have to, uh, well, not unfortunately, you have to... Uh, the qualifying is three kilometers ah. in under 30 minutes. So that Nothing is the less minimum. Than that. Yeah. Nothing less than that. But you everything above that is up to you. All right, fantastic. Let's talk about the registration process for people that are watching. If they want to get involved, uh, tell us until when registration is open. Um, uh, obviously, we know how they can qualify now. Uh, they go onto the websites and do all of that. Um, when is the closing date for this uh, process? Okay, the process for the qualifiers ends on Wednesday, but for people who have not registered yet, you first have to download the Vitality Running World Cup app mm -hmm. on your Play Store or the App Store on the iPhone mm -hmm. or Android. And then you register, uh, you just register your, with your name, uh, your full name, your email address, and then uh, you're the country. It will automatically pick up the country that you're representing, but you, also, you can also go through the, um, the scroll down menu. Uh, then you just link it to your running, your running app that yeah. you usually use. So Strava, Google Fit, uh, Pacer, they're all, uh, they're all represented. And the app automatically just pulls the data from yes. the runs that you do on your running app. That's it. 
Fantastic. Yeah. When does it end, uh, Eric? So um, the qualifying round ends on Thursday, and then the, the final. So how it works after the qualifying round is that the top um, 16 teams will then move on to the round of 16. Right. And then um, after that, it's the quarterfinal, semifinal, and then the grand final is uh, at the beginning of April. At the beginning of April, and will it be? Uh, will each country have the uh, final in their respective country, or is it going to be a collective one? No, it's a collective one. So, you, you, rep we represent Namibia. So um, that top sixteen, Namibia will be there, and we currently are in the top sixteen. Well, you said when we started this conversation that anybody can participate, but I think people that have these running apps are people that actually run on a daily basis, not for the average Joe. So you need to have some stamina to you to participate in this. But no, that's a fair point. But uh, I think the whole point of this is to try and encourage people that, <laughs> you know, it's available to anyone. So yeah. like, like Gabby mentioned, you know, Google Fit and Apple Health. You know, that's on your phone normally. You don't have to uh, well, download anything. Yeah. You don't have to download Just it. Even... So the challenge is out there that, you know, whoever you are, you now have the chance to, to take part. And you said you have to be able to do three kilometers in 30 minutes. Yeah. The Shishi did five kilometers in 28 minutes not too long ago. It's Super. good. It's <laughs> yeah. amazing. Yeah. All right, Gabby, give us uh, that uh, um, website address again. Uh, it's Vitality Running World Cup. Mm -hmm. um, um, but if you search in the Play Store, um, the app is right there, and it also links you to the website. You can just continue. It will uh, shift you to the browser okay. on your mobile phone. You don't have to be on your PC or anything to do it. Everything is just like uh, you could use it on your mobile phone, yeah. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. But on sure. all uh, social media platforms, mm -hmm. just uh, and I think in Google even, just if you search for Running World Cup, it will it's, come yeah, up. The hashtag is yeah. uh, Instagram, Twitter, it's trending all over, yeah. Are you guys going to be participating? Yes. yes we're, we're already we're adding we're our already kilometers. Started. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, all the best, guys. And I hope Thank to speak to you much. again in April when all this is ended to see how Namibia is done. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank right. you so much for having us. Well, there you have it. Uh, if you'd like to participate, you've got all the details now. We take a little break and when we come back, Tishishi and I say goodbye.